Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Dharade. In this video, we are going to discuss about sonar cube dashboard overview. Okay, what are the options is available? Let's see. Let's see the demo. Okay, earlier, if you remember earlier video, we have installed that sonar cube, right? Now we can see what are the options is available inside sonar cube dashboard. If you go to the right side, we have a my account. Click this one. Here you can see which user you have logged in, this particular user, what are the group permissions is available, whether administrator or some other permissions, what are the permissions available, you can able to see here. SCM accounts is nothing but source code management, okay? And coming to the security, if you want to generate a token, you can generate it. Why we require token? For example, some of the use cases, you want to integrate this sonar cube to uh, any, any one of the code, like example, Java, Python, Instead of providing username password, we can provide a uh, token. Okay, In this particular token you can provide to them. They can able to access from that particular code. Okay, example I'm giving here, Murli, and generate. When you click the generate, it will be generate this uh, SHA code. Okay, you have to copy and you, can, you have to store this one somewhere uh, securely. Okay, if you see here, once we refresh this one, it won't be visible again. That is the reason you have to copy it. And uh, and store somewhere. Okay, I have copied this one as well. And if you want to revoke these permissions, you can revoke it. Okay, when it was created, it is showing the particular date as well. Now what I'm doing here, I, I want to revoke. Just click the revoke. It will ask yes or no. Revoke token. Now it is revoked. Okay, fine. If you want to change the password, you can change it. Old password and new password. Okay, fine. Next one notification. If you want to receive any notifications based on uh, issues for example my new issues if you click this one you will be received that mail okay currently we are logging with admin users and credentials but in real time we may configure ldap we may configure active direct ad okay instead of uh, creating manual users we can log into the, our company mail id and username password based on our role we will get the access either admin admin privileges or read only privileges okay and next projects currently we don't have any project because just we have installed we haven't uh, created any project right that's why we are not able to see any projects here got it right now click the sonar cube now we can see a lot of options is available if you want to create the project you can create manually but i will show you like the sonar cube i will integrate in mavin and uh, it will be generate a project here okay we can uh, push that code to here and it will be the particular code will be uh analysis that particular code and it will be generate uh, bugs and vulnerabilities code smell okay we will see later part and next one if you see here quality gate quality gate we have two options pass and fail based on conditions in in here we have option quality gates you can click this one if you observe here coverage it should be less than 80 percent okay then duplicate lines is greater than three percent if you match this particular condition then only here you can able to see whether it is failed or pass. If it is matched this condition, it will be pass, passed here. In case if it is not matched that particular condition, it will show here the particular application, the particular project will be failed. Okay. And coming to the reliability bugs. Okay. Bugs are reliable to both are same. Okay. Inside the code, whatever whoever written the code, right? It will be uh, we can scan that code, static code analysis using sonar cube. It will be generated whether is there any bugs in that particular code. Okay, I will show you later part. And coming to the security vulnerabilities. If you have any security related uh, issues in the particular code, it will be generated also. Okay, I will show you that one as well. And the security review, uh, whether it is greater than 80%, 70 to 80%, you can select based on that one, it will be displayed here. The particular application, you can see how much uh, the particular uh, applications cover, cover coverage done. Either 80% or 70%, 30%, 30%, less than 30%, you can able to see here. Okay, maintainable code smell. You can see here code smell. Here we have a multiple code smells. I will show you later part. And here coverage also it is 80% or 70, 30%, 20%. You can see here. And du duplication. What are the use? Uh, what are the meaning of duplication? Example, I am a developer, I have written the code. Inside the code, I have frequently reused the same code. What will happen? It will be increase the duplication, right? Okay, then he, here you can select how much uh, percentage the particular application uh, uh, you uh, having the duplication based on filter you can use it. Okay, and the size, whether how many lines of that particular code, 1K, 1K to 10K, 50, uh, 
500k you can select here based on that one you can able to see here how much size of that particular project okay and here languages in languages we have multiple as i said like it will be support almost 25 plus languages okay you can select here for example if you want to select the javascript you can select here based on java select uh, you have selected here you can able to see the javascript related project here when you select it currently we don't have anything that is the reason we are not able to see anything and also if you observe here javascript it is showing zero the reason is we don't have any projects right but the javascript that's why it is showing the zero okay and the tax what are the main uses of tax see if you want to group up that particular all the projects to single uh, group you can uh, use the tag tags is nothing but group okay we can add multiple projects to that particular tag it will act as a group okay that is right these are the options available and coming to the issues okay as i said like bugs currently we don't have anything that's why it's showing zero vulnerabilities code smell in cvrt cvrt is very important okay when you generate the project report okay it will be show like whether blocker blocker is nothing but if it is the particular issue it is depending anyone okay if you for example i'm a developer i'm checking this code okay report i i need someone help okay i'm depending right it 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 means that we can keep it as a blocker as well okay and next one minor minor means it is a little bit minor we don't want to take much worry and critical critical means they should be change that particular modification code modification quickly okay My major also little bit we have to take in care info means just it will be show the information of the particular project okay scope coming to the scope we have two things remember in java based application we have not only java any code we have two things one is main code and the source uh, test code okay main code test code is nothing but it, it is a test cases if you remember in mavin i used the uh, mvn test it will be general the test cases right same thing here also test cases how many test cases is there that particular project you can able to see here currently we are seeing zero that the reason is we don't have any projects that's why okay resolution in resolution we have four five types one is unresolved okay second one false positive third one is fixed if you fixed it fifth one is removed okay fourth one won't fix might be some of the issues might be we can't fix it we can select as a won't fix okay currently everything zero because we don't have any projects currently okay and coming to the status we can check the status whether it is open or confirmed reopen already closed again you reopen reopen the particular issue some of the reasons okay and resolve and closed okay security <coughs> category currently these are not required and creation rate when it was created if you want to check and get that particular project information you can check it here based on you can uh, select the particular creation date and end date you can able to find out okay and coming to the language currently we don't have any languages languages is nothing but the particular project which language it is created whether java python okay there are almost 25 plus languages right you can able to see here and coming to the rules currently we don't have any rules as i said tax is nothing but it will act as a group of uh, projects we can create the tag and we can attach uh, multiple project to the particular tag okay project currently we don't have any project that's why it is showing zero okay assign whom to assign this particular project currently not yet assigned only one in case in in, in our project we have multiple users we, we can able to see here here the particular users you can assign this particular project to someone but remember this entire sonar cube just generation generating the report is devops responsibility remaining part will taking care by developer only they have to check that particular code they have to verify the bugs and everything they have to fix from their end just our res devops responsibility is we have to taking care to generate the particular report okay author currently we don't have anything and coming to the rules if you want to create any rules the particular uh, uh, language level example if you see here css this is the bug when you get this type of uh, error it will act as a bug okay we can create a multiple things total we have 2492 rules will be there default okay and the quality profiles also it will be same as a uh, gates okay quality gates as i said like we can create a based on this uh, condition if it is a match if the particular quality gate will be success passed otherwise it will be failed okay i'm coming to the administrator here you can see here alm integration analysis scope we have multiple options is there as i said like in mavin if you remember 
as I said, we have a Jakako report uh, plugin using Jakako report plugin. We can generate a sonar kit report, right? This is a Jakako plugin. You can declare that particular path as well, which path we need to call that particular Jakako. Okay. And languages, we have a multiple languages. If you select the Python, Python related with the particular suffixes, okay, path coverage report, we can declare the particular file. Okay. Everything you can take it here. New code and the SCM source code management. And the security not required everything. You can leave this thing. You can just go through it all the options. You get some idea on this one. Okay. And coming to the security, if you want to create the users, you can create a default. We have an admin user, right? If you want to create, you can create the user. Later, I will show you like how to create the users. Okay, no need to worry on that one. And next one, if you want to, you can create the multiple groups and you can attach these particular groups to the user. You can default, we have Sonar administrator and Sonar users. I will show you this users and group creation later part, okay? And the next one, global permissions. What are the permissions available on global level? Global level is nothing but entire Sonar keep level. What are the permissions is available? Okay, administrator and the Sonar users. If you see here, Sonar administrator, we have called quality, uh, quality gates, quality profiles also will be there. Project creation part also we have access. Okay. And next, permissions templates. These are the default permission templates. You want to create the template and you can assign the particular template to the users and groups. You can do it. And next one, projects management. Go to here. Currently, we don't have anything. And background task. If any uh, project is running backgroundly, you can verify here. And system. System, if you observe here, currently, this is my. When I install uh, Sonar Keeping, Sonar Keeping, one of the EC2 instance, this is ID is generated. The version is this one. Okay. Currently, we are using open source, right? In case if you want to use developer edition or enterprise support edition, okay, we have to provide this ID to Sonar Keep team. They will be activated as a paid version instead of open source. Okay. And also, if you see here, log level, you can, if you want to download, you can download logs as well compute logs, search engine logs, web server logs, main process logs. Okay, you can also download a system log, system information log. If you want to restart the server, you can restart from here as well. Server means not a Linux server, will be restart this particular Sonar Keep service. Instead of logging to the EC2 instance and restart, you can do from here as well. Okay, and system information you can see here whether you install the Docker, high availability. Currently, we are installed only single server, right? That's why it is not high availability. Official distribution, force authentication, what where the particular sonar TV we have installed. We don't want to go to inside a server and verify everything. We can check it from here as well. System information and web related. Okay, how much memory maximum, minimum memory, how much uh, space is available. Everything you can verify here as well. Okay. And next compute engine, you can verify here pending zero. Just to go through it, everything you will get more idea. There are a lot of options will be there. Just to have, you can spend some time to get more idea on this one. Okay. Here also, such a state, we can search engine, we can see like uh, how much CPU you say and this available storage size, everything you can able to view here only. Okay. And coming to the marketplace, as I said, like currently we are using open source. If you want to use developer edition, if you want to use enterprise edition, if you want to store your data enter in data center, data, data centers, you can use it. Okay. In case currently we are using open source, right? In case if you want to get it, uh, developer edition just request a free try. Now it will be redirected to that particular project. You have to provide your how much line of your code, okay, 2 million, 5 million, 10 million, and then you have to provide your company name and phone number, mail ID, country. Then you will receive the mail, they will touch with you and they will explain that uh, pricing part, everything. If you are working with that one, then you can go ahead and uh, use that particular paid version. Okay, I hope understand right. Any question? And here we have option right? search box. If you if you have a multiple project, you want to search it, you can search here as well. Example, Moodle project. Example, I'm telling. Currently, we don't have anything that's why it's showing no search results for Moodle. Okay. These are the options is available. Only thing what you have to do is you have to go to one by one step by step uh, options. You will get more idea. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you next video.